Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful Tuesday, August 8, 2023, Steffi explains why she left Eric and Ridge, RG mocks Finn, and Liam defends his actions. Eric wishes Steffi a good morning and pours her some coffee at the Forrester Mansion. She admits she didn't sleep well and expresses her gratitude to him for everything. Eric enjoys having her there, but wishes it were under better conditions. He assures her that she does not need to explain until her father arrives, but that she is safe there. Ridge arrives, summoned by Steffi, and inquires, what's up? Steffi claims that something happened, and that she and the kids will be staying there for a while. Finn agonizes in the cliff house, recalling his argument with Steffi. The doorbell rings, and it's RJ. He was on his way to Paradise Cove and decided to say hello to him, Steffi, and the kids. They're gone, RJ, Finn says. They walked away. RJ realizes she left Finn when she adds that she took the kids and went to Eric's. He wonders why she would do such a thing. Finn says, because of Liam. Wyatt tells Liam at Spencer Publications that he can't believe Kelly nearly drowned on Finn's watch and rants. Why would he take his eyes off of her on the beach? He's just thankful he was there to save her. Liam catches his brother off guard by correcting him. Oh, no, 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 no. Finn was not the culprit. Shayla was the caller. Shayla rescued my daughter from the water. Why was she there? Wyatt wonders. Liam responds, I think you know the answer to that. Wyatt sighs and says, Finn. Steffi tells her grandfather and father at the Forrester estate that she couldn't stay at the cliff house because it was too dangerous. Ridge grunts, because of Shayla, and then inquires, what happened? RG has heard the story and informs Finn that his niece could have died, saying, it was your job to keep her safe, Finn. Finn is terrified of what might have happened. He wonders if this is why Steffi left. Finn claims that he did not save Kelly. RG inquires as to who rescued her. Shayla, Finn says, Kelly's life was saved by my mother. Spencer, Liam, and Wyatt notice Shayla stalking Finn immediately after the judge dismisses her charges. Wyatt is relieved that Steffi made the decision to leave and take the children with her. Liam agrees, they'll be safe at Eric's, which is all that matters to him. Liam declares that Finn attracts Shayla, particularly after hugging her. She is determined to remain in his life. Fortunately, he and Steffi are now on the same page. They're never going to let that monster near his family. Steffi has filled Ridge and Eric in on Kelly nearly drowning at the Forrester estate, but she says that's only part of the story. Sheila was there. She can't believe her daughter is still alive because of the woman who attempted to murder her and everyone she cares about. Finn asked her to be gentle with Sheila and addressed her as his mother. He has a connection with her that she does not believe will ever fade. Sheila can't live with herself after what she's done to her family. IG understands why Steffi left the cliff house if Shayla was involved in what happened to Kelly on the beach. Finn complains that Liam is trying to break up his marriage by pointing out that Shayla is his birth mother. He flashes back to Steffi, telling her that Liam saw him hugging Shayla and recorded it on his phone. Liam has it out for me, he complains. He's doing everything he can to destabilize Finn and Steffi's marriage, and he's not going to let him get away with it. Liam explains to Spencer that Finn is incapable of keeping the kids safe from Sheila. Wyatt observes that the situation between the two of them is complicated because Liam kissed Steffi twice. Liam had no intention of severing their marriage. Wyatt muses on her breakup with Finn. Liam claims that the situation has changed now that new information has become available. He's dead set on keeping them safe. Wyatt believes that deep down, he must have recognized an opportunity here, that he might be able to reunite with Steffi. At the Forrester Mansion, Eric apologizes to Steffi and assures her that she is safe there. He kisses her cheek and departs to speak with Ridge. Ridge sighs and pulls Steffi into an embrace, telling her he's sorry. 
Steffi is concerned about her children. Ridge assures her that everything will be fine and that she made the right decision by coming there. They'll get through it as a family, as they always do. He offers to move in and help with the kids as they sit. Brooke would get it. Steffi appreciates the offer, but she is perfectly fine. Ridge complains about Finn's distraction from Kelly at the beach. Steffi informs him that there is more, and that when Shayla was released and walked out of the courtroom, Finn followed her and embraced her. He embraced Shayla, her mother. Ridge inquires as to how she knows this. Steffi claims Liam witnessed it. He recorded a video and showed it to her. She wanted to trust her husband, but, Ridge adds, yeah, how do you explain that? How? Steffi is unsure how she is supposed to trust her husband. Shayla is always going to be a part of Finn's life. Ridge sighs and inquires, what happens now? Liam is working at Spencer when he frowns at a photo of Kelly. He searches the cabinet for a framed photo of himself, Steffi, and Kelly and places it on display. Finn's voice booms, I know what you're doing. Liam turns around and insists on looking after his daughter and Steffi because he can't. Finn is well aware that Kelly was on the verge of drowning, and no one feels worse about it than he does. Liam wonders if he should be grateful to his psychopath mother for saving her. Finn points out that Kelly is alive because of his mother. The woman shot you. Liam asks if he can hear himself right now. Your wife was shot, and you're still here defending her. You're even physically embracing her. Finn says, there it is. You took that video, and you didn't come and confront me about it. Finn says as he closes the office door. No, you showed it to Steffi right away, didn't you, you little puke? I know what you're looking for, Liam. Liam wants Steffi to have access to all of the information. That's not the only reason, Finn scoffs. We're both aware of it. Your marriage to Hope is ending, but that doesn't give you the right to return and pursue my wife. With all due respect, Liam states that he is doing this on his own. Finn is adamant that he and Steffi are committed to working through this together. You think you have this pin with her and this history, and you exploit it, he rages. But that's all there is to it, Liam. It's old history. She's now with a real man, and I'm not going to let you ruin my marriage. Steffi should be avoided at all costs. You must not approach my wife. Rich's rage at Shayla reaches a boiling point next on the bold and the beautiful. Fantastic. In the gallery below, you can see photos from B and B's fan club event. Please keep in mind that if you buy something after clicking on a link in this story, we may receive a small commission on the sale. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.